Something's about to go down. Let's watch. Now you listen to me. I'm gonna shoot you and take your money. Oh crap, I died! And you are... Steve! The mighty Steve! Uh-oh, people getting shot! Who's this guy? Billy! Oh, we got some shotgun guys! Bob! How do you like me now? And... Cormano! And these gentlemen shall ride off into the sunset! On their valiant steeds they ride. And they are... The Sunset Riders. That's right, welcome to Iron Fury Play Sunset Riders. And there are four characters in this game. I will show you them all real quick. Player one is Steve. Steve carries a Peacemaker, which is a form of revolver. Now, revolvers in this game, they are faster shooting, however, they require more precise aim. As you can see, you can shoot pretty fast with them. Now, player two is Billy. Of course, this is an arcade game, so you gotta put coins in. Billy also uses a Peacemaker. Although he seems to use his arm and, like, quickly swings at the gun to shoot bullets out. Although he plays pretty much exactly like Steve. That slide move I do, you can actually hold down plus the direction you're facing and press the jump button. You have two buttons, a jump button and a, and a shoot button. Player three is Bob. Bob carries a shotgun. Shotguns are slightly slower, however, they have spread shots. Again, they could be more useful depending on how you like to play. Of course, they still all have their jumping abilities and sliding abilities and all that. And of course, finally, player four is Cormano, who we will be playing for this run. Let's insert our quarters. We're gonna pretend that I'm rich here. Now, of course, when you pick your character and start a level, you'll see a wanted ad showing who we're gonna be facing. And this level, we're gonna be looking for Simon Greedwell. Of course, Cormano, having a shotgun, has a spread shot. Now, in the arcade version of this game, see that woman? She would be wearing a dress in the Super Nintendo version. Also, the arcade version gives us a little picture on how to climb up these balconies here. You just simply press up and the jump button. And if you want to climb down, press down and the jump button. Now, that thing we grabbed in that house, or in that building, gives us automatic fire. We also have two shotguns now. So the golden stars give us automatic fire, so we can just hold the button down. And the Silver Stars give us two weapons. Now, we actually have these bulls, and it says run to avoid getting killed. That's because if you choose to stand the bulls, you have to keep running, otherwise they will take you to the edge of the screen, and you can basically get crushed. Oh, we got Oh, crap, I just got hit with the fire. One hit is a kill in this game. And, of course, when you get killed, you lose your power-ups. Now, since we're using an arcade emulator for this, and we can simulate adding coins, we don't have to worry about, you know, game overs. And that dynamite I just threw, you press the uh, shoot button to pick it up and throw it. Of course, in this game, the dynamite is thrown by women. In the Super Nintendo version of the game, they changed those to men due to Nintendo censorship. Now, you want to be careful here. You want to jump and jump again, and then keep running. Now, after a couple more grunts, we have to face off with the boss, which, like I said earlier, is Simon Greedwell. It's time to pay. He's going to say his little quote, It's time to pay. And then it's time for the shoot-off. And, of course, he has his own little gang here with him. You want to shoot these barrels down. Now, of course... It is possible to do this without getting killed, it's just not likely if you're a new player. And like I said, death is more of an inconvenience since we're playing via MAME, the arcade emulator, and we can just simulate adding coins. Now, 
Now, once you get the barrels out of the way, although you don't necessarily have to see, I'm shooting him in the foot. Once you get the barrels out of the way, he's much easier to hit. You just kind of stand under him and just keep moving like this. Ah, uh, crap. Yeah, I wasn't going to avoid getting hit there. But after a few more shots, he goes down. Marry me with my money. Of course, famous last words. And we have our little victory pose, and we receive our $10,000 reward, and our points add up. And now we gotta face Hawkeye Hank Hatfield. And this level introduces us to riding horses. Now, of course, this automatically scrolls on its own. You don't have to press any kind of buttons for him to move. However, you can choose to run a little further or back. Think of it like surfing in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time. And I want to grab that, because I love automatic fire. This game has some amazing music. I just wanted to throw that out there. Ooh, good. We are fully powered up. Now, of course, if you hold down, Cormon will actually hang on the side of his horse. And you want to quickly shoot these, uh... These carriages. Ah, shit, I got shot. But you want to shoot those carriages, because they will start throwing things at you if you let them stay on long enough. And good, we got automatic fire, which is pretty useful. Auto fire, for shorthand, if you want. And, of course, now we got this train... Train gonna keep moving down that highway in the southern blues. I don't know what I'm doing, but of course you got enemies in the train. You want to shoot them. This game is very fast-paced. It's a lot of fun. It's easily one of my favorite games ever made. In fact, I put it in my top five in that video I did a few years ago. I should probably update that though, because things have changed since then. And oh shit, I got shot again. Of course, you occasionally have riders coming from the bottom of the screen. Luckily, the, this level seems to supply you with enough power-ups that if you happen to get killed, you won't go into the boss fight bare minimum. Of course, this being a four-player game, you can play with four players at a time, which is a lot of fun. And, uh... There are two versions of this for the arcade. There's a two-player version and a four-player version. In the two-player version, you can choose whoever you want to be at any, you know, at the start of the game. But in the four-player version, the, the the numbered player you are depends on what character you're using. And here is Hawkeye and Hank Hatfield. Draw, Pilgrim. Now he's got his goons up here, and he's going to jump behind these boxes. And of course, you got to hit him when he's standing. I like that they actually use the. Uh, perspective here to their advantage. It's really cool. I mean, even though we're just ch technically facing upward, it's giving us this view that we're facing across, and I kind of like that. Even though it is a bit skewed from how the physics actually work in real life, but even still. After you kill so many grunts, he's going to stop throwing them at you. Now, eventually, when you shoot him enough, which uh, he's kind of hard to hit because he keeps rolling like that. He keeps dodging. But, eventually when you hit him enough, come on. I must not have hit him nowhere near enough yet. Ah, uh, he's starting to blink red. So pretty soon I would have hit him enough. Where... Come on. Yeah, he's blinking. There we go. He's gonna come down here, and that's gonna do him in. You got me. And of course, they're gonna collect our bonus here. And speaking of bonus, now that we finish this, we're going to play a bonus stage. And you have to shoot all the enemies that appear. It's kind of like whack-a-mole. Now, my strategy for this is to stare straight at the middle and let your peripheral vision catch whatever comes green. It's going to seem weird, but it's actually going to help you, because whatever little things you notice, you're going to be a lot quicker to spot them instead of just trying to look everywhere and spot things. But after this bonus game, we're going to call it a day. See how see I'm doing pretty well right now. But just stare straight in the middle or pick a spot and just let your peripheral vision do all the work. Yeah, I'm really doing well, but trust me, it's gonna yeah, see, here's where it starts going bad. But I still think I did pretty well. There's 50 of these guys all together. 42 is really good. 
But anyway, we're going to collect our points, and then we're going to call it a day here. So until next time, take care.